Well, today on Nation, the industry podcast, we're talking all about strong versus weak. First off, which one are you? But second off, how do you get out of a cycle if you're in it? So either way, stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What is up? It- you awesome, awesome people. If it's your first time here, have a look around. Uh, hopefully you dig it. Hopefully it's better than wasting time reading about politics. Either way, there's a ton of content, three years in fact, uh, worth of content to go back and catch up on. This is available anywhere podcasts are. If you like to listen, that's how you can binge huh? to all my binge masters out there. Uh, but it's also available on YouTube. So if it's something that you... Um, uh, want to watch I more have a face for radio but it's there to play it in the back of your screen uh, and to all of you who are part of the cool kids if you are a certified cool kid if you are one of the people who makes my life possible thank you genuinely from the bottom of my heart I really 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 appreciate everybody who lets me put orders in um some people even send stuff to me Friday night, Saturday night, just be like, hey, Jersey, it's all in my cart, man. Run my order when you get a chance. That's awesome. Gets run on Monday, ships Monday. You guys that do it over the weekend, troopers, during the week, big, small, it doesn't matter if you want to have a guy, if you want to have a rep, that's me. Shameless plug time, then all you need to do is call me, text me, uh, text me everything's in your cart. Shop away, make sure you're logged in at windowcleaner.com and let me put the order in. I get credit for it. It costs you nothing extra. And all of a sudden, you're a certified cool kid. You are one of the people that allows me to live because otherwise I would be poverty stricken and homeless. So thank you guys to everybody who does that. It's like a virtual high five of awesomeness, by the way. Um, I, I really appreciate kind words, by the way, just to get off on that shameless plug a little bit. Uh, sometimes people uh, send me that thing and just say, hey, you've helped me so much, I want to give back, blah, 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 you know, and kind of go that route. It's amazing. Like, I just talk into a camera on my screen and uh, don't get to get feedback. So feedback's amazing. I just want to say thank you guys. Uh, anyway, okay, that part's done. Uh, I do want to mention something real quick. On a separate note, as a lot of you know, um, the American Window Cleaner Magazine, uh, I did purchase that on a separate note. Last time you'll probably hear about it, but the first issue is here. It's it's awesome. At least that's what I think. Also, the sticker sheet. So, uh, if you're watching on YouTube, you can see the first issue and the sticker sheet in the first issue all right there. Uh, You're the first ones to see it. Literally, I got these in yesterday, so they are at print. And uh, if you are a subscriber, you are going to get your paper copy here in the mail next week. If not, go get your subscription, American Window Cleaner Magazine. It's absolutely amazing. At least that's what my mom says. Uh, But anyway, okay, so today we're talking about something cool, and I'm already going to be prepared for a little bit of backlash. Now, I'm not that guy. Uh, I really don't get talked down to a lot on the internet. I'm one of the lucky ones. Um, I'm just some dummy, right? I'm just a guy with a microphone who sits in front of a panel wall, happen to have some water fed poles and stickers. That's what I do. That's my thing. So take it with a grain of salt, but there's a big difference between being strong and being weak. And first off, let me say, there's no wrong way to be either. Not everybody has to be this giant mogul. Right? Not everybody has to have a giant business. Not everybody has to have a strong business. Because remember, it doesn't matter how many people you have, it matters your profits. Right? If you're out there making a hundred thousand dollars by yourself, the next guy's making a million dollars, but you are super lean and super structured, healthy and good clients, and your prices are where they need to be, you may be taking home. $75,000 or more, depending on how you're structuring everything, how you're working. Maybe it's out of your house. Maybe you're, you're, it could be super, super low. $75,000 in profit on $100,000. The guy making a million in a sloppy business may literally be making $50,000. Or he may not be making a positive at all. Maybe he's running negative with all his bills, but uh, somehow he's robbing uh, Peter to pay Paul or whatever that saying is. He's running on credit cards. I know. Guys that run 
on uh, different unorthodox ways of paying themselves through different times. So you may be a strong or a weak one, but we're here to at least talk about it. I want to go over some of the different ways, things that kind of differentiate you, and it's up to you to decide which one you are. Now, with that all being said, there's my disclosure. Send your angry emails to jersey at windowcleaner.com. Care of jersey, I don't know. Send them if you want. Uh, Comment on YouTube because I want a good back and forth. Um, But here's the truth of the matter. A strong-willed business owner will be more successful and happy than a weak one. And what I mean by that is, is that we all have seasons in our lives, right? You got spring, you got summer, you got fall, and you got winter. Each of those seasons in a normal situation brings different things, right? Winter, you're more relaxed, you're not getting the sun, you know, you're inside more, it's cold and blustery, I watch more TV, maybe I gain a little weight through winter, right? But spring comes, oh man, spring is amazing. Spring is even better than summer. The temperatures aren't there, but you know what? We've been waiting for all this winter, we're super excited, spring is amazing, oh, it's so great. Then summer comes and you're like, oh, it's so hot. Maybe I won't be outside all the time. Maybe I'm changing how I'm doing things. Maybe I sit in the air conditioning. Maybe I'm late for fall. Man, I can't wait till it cools down. Fall comes. You're back to being kind of that invigorated, but you're planning to the slowdown in the winter. Like, seasons come in business. There are times where you're hungry, where you're strong, and there's times where you're weak. There's times where you're not really hungry. There's times where your hustle sucks donkey. And the reason is, is because if you ran at 100% all the time, you would burn yourself out. It is like a fire. If you take a log, light the log on fire, grab a blower and blow on that log, you're going to have a hot fire and it's going to be burned out in about two minutes, right? If you put it in a fire, you let it burn, it could burn for an hour or two. You're not going to get as much heat, but it's longer. So it's the same concept when it comes to burnout We're not talking about burnout, but we're talking about the kind of person or entrepreneur that you are. Now, a strong entrepreneur is somebody who's going to take all of the crud and they're going to make it better. They're always going to be looking forward and they're always going to be pushing themselves to be better. These businesses that we have don't happen by the way of nature. They happen because of the hustle. Now, with that being said, all of us, all of us, every one of us, has had situations where there's super dumb luck. At the time, largest contract I ever had, largest project I ever had, and largest building I ever had in that project was a random phone call, and they go, oh my gosh, I can't believe you called. It must be fate. We were just talking about how we hated the window cleaners, right? My biggest contract to date ever, it was a call. I was driving down the interstate, saw a building, called about windows, and actually asked about something else. Uh, in fleet cleaning and things, and that entire contract ended up being janitorial fleet cleaning, when, the whole thing. It was giant, giant $100,000 a year call. Dumb luck does happen, but you have to call. Those two calls, it had to get in my brain. I had to have thought of that, find the number, make the call, be presentable, sell the job when I talk to the person. There's a lot that goes with it. If you're weak, you're not going to make the call. If you're weak, You're not going to go out there and do what has to get done. Remember, when I'm recording this, this is actually winter time. So there is a lot of things going on right now, um, like uh, sitting. Um, There is a uh, good TV shows on, you know, Hulu. Let's see what. There's nothing going on right now in winter. The time is, is that you have some jobs to do. And I know some of you are busier in winter, and I get that. But your winter season may be in the middle of summer. But if nothing's going on, you make something happen. Take your breaks, right? Right now when I'm recording this, it is middle of January. Maybe you take all of January just to kind of recoup, read, you know. But when you get back in the mindset of being strong, that's when growth happens. Growth can happen in size, it can happen in profit, but more importantly, it can happen in strength. Strength is your company. I would rather do 10 customers that were amazing to work with, the prices were great, I made a great dollar, flawless, awesome customers, than 20 customers that were junk, that I hated dealing with, that I had to collect on, 
that there's always something there and they're always asking me to change some light bulb and go above and beyond. It always takes me longer, right? Strength is just as important as growth. But here's some things. You get to decide and if you're strong or weak and when you are. If you're taking a season that lasts years, it's time to reevaluate what's going on. Because of the hustle that's in an entrepreneur does not just come. You don't get more motivated. You don't just sit there one day and go, oh my gosh, I want to be amazing. That doesn't happen. What happens is, is that you force yourself. You go, you know what? I'm going to freaking lose weight. I'm done being fat. Right? You go and then make the change. You go, you know what? I'm sick of living paycheck to paycheck. I'm up in my profits. Things have to change. Boom, the change is made. I'm sick of my teeth falling out every time I sneeze. I need to start brushing my teeth. <laughs> maybe, maybe the, by the way, my uh, wife's family member, a family member was doing something uh, in a lunchroom with a bunch of her coworkers and one of them sneezed and her tooth fell out. And it was because she just had awful, awful rotten teeth. But anyway, gross story of the day. High five, right? But your change happens because you make it happen because of something that makes you want to make the change. But here's a couple things to find out if you're in a season of weakness or a season of strength. First off, if you're strong, you're pushing, right? You are pushing like the ox that pulls a cart. They're pushing if they're in mud, if they're on rain, if they're in gravel. They're always going. They have to always go and push. Because remember, in the winter, not a lot's going on. Maybe... You live in Wisconsin like I did and you don't have a lot of work. You're waiting on the snow to happen. It's your job to push, to go out there, get more route jobs, be selling, ABS, always be selling. It's to out there, make your calls, get things planned, get your marketing uh, ready for the next season. You're always supposed to be working. Work eight hours a day, even if you don't have eight hours of work. That's a strong person. The week? They sit idle. The week goes on, nothing's happening. I could be idle. Now, I want to put a disclaimer there again because I'm not calling anybody out on the weakness because remember, some people close down for the winter. I know a lot of people that close down for the winter. And that's awesome. That is not a season. You've made that decision and you planned all year to close down. What I'm talking about is just inside of you if that fire's burning hot enough. Right? Another way is the week will always blame others. I have people all the time. Like, oh man, how's how's business? Ah, gosh, yeah, well, you know, the uh, COVID. Man, COVID. Uh, the, the mayor, they, they closed everything back down. And then, you know, it's like, gosh, it's been raining every day. I don't, I don't know, you know. And Well, first off, we all have gone through COVID. All of us. And I'm guaranteeing you that there are some people in your area that clean windows. They went through the exact same thing. If you're still watching this, your hustle's there. Even if you're in a season of weakness, your hustle's there. You're watching a show or a podcast with somebody who can't turn off their phone like me, I'm sorry. But you're uh you're watching a show and you're um it's about window cleaning. You're you're bettering your company by listening or watching this. So you're strong inside even if you're in a weak season right? The weak blame others. The strong make changes. The strong will look at it and go, man, COVID lockdown happened. Oh, that sucks. I'm focusing on houses. Oh man, the governor, man, they're closing restaurants down again. I'm going to go out there and do free window cleanings for restaurants for PR. Oh man, you know, well, this rain has just been, uh, it's just, it's been raining every day. First off, it doesn't rain every single day in a season unless you live in an awful, awful place. And if you do, I'm sorry. <laughs> but maybe it didn't rain on a Saturday or Sunday. Guess what? You sat around the rest of the week, push it on a Saturday or Sunday. The strong will always make changes while the weak will blame others, right? Talk to an entrepreneur one time. This is interesting. I talk to hundreds and hundreds of them a month. Hundreds. And there is something that always shines through on an amazing entrepreneur. And I know a ton of them. I know guys who have had have bigger companies than I've ever had. 
stronger companies than I've ever had, more drive than I've ever had. And I've talked to people who don't. And the big thing is you can always see is that someone who never blames like, oh man, how's things going? Oh, uh, it, it's uh, it's good, man. We'd like to be stronger than where we are. Uh, but, you know, with uh, with everything going on, we've, we've switched our, our angles a little bit and we're pushing certain sides of it. Uh, we're really doing new projections. We're se- Those are people who are going through the same crap that we are. But they've decided to be strong, push and change. Those are two traits of a strong business person. That's what they're doing. They're pivoting. They're always going forward. A lot of us get kicked in the junk and we fall backwards. That's business owners. That's why we all have thin hair and we have gray, you know, that's why... I'm 18 years old. Look at me. I just, ugh, I weather very badly. But uh, business owners, right? We've earned our grays. We've earned our baldness. We've earned our stress and sore shoulders. We go through it. We're in the trenches all the time. A strong business owner will always push through those ones. Certain times happen. I just was talking with a window cleaner just the other day. Lost like 30, 38% or something of their commercial clients they lost. That's nuts. They're losing... uh, Luke, the window cleaner, was just talking about it. That his company had lost $4,000 a month in commercial window cleaning. You go, wow, man, this sucks. Yeah, it's going to probably be another year of this crap, you know? But uh, what we're doing is we're just getting out there pushing. You know, we're doing some free stuff, but we're handing out brochures. We've made something where we'll go and clean somebody for free. Stick a sticker on there and say, hey, if you liked what we did... Um, here's what I'm offering. That's all there. Those are the people who are strong that are making it all happen. Be strong and make things change. Don't blame others. Make change. Another thing that safe people do or, uh, uh, strong people do is they set goals. Now I've talked about goals and I beat it into the ground, but a goal is a map to where you want to be. If that goal, mind you, Anywhere you are, I'm talking to you, you're $50,000 a year, we'll say. That's what you did last year. $50,000 a year, your goal this year is $55,000, make that happen. A goal doesn't have to be set to make a million, right? It doesn't have to be set to have, well, by the end of this year, I need six trucks on, it doesn't have to be amazing because we're all in different areas, right? If you are extremely out of shape, well, first off, you'd be a pressure washer. <laughs> uh, sorry, uh, pressure washing window cleaning joke. But if if, if you are extremely out of weight, uh, out of shape, and overweight, that first step, or that goal, may be I want to run a half a mile without stopping. It doesn't matter for the guy who's been running all his life. His goal is not to run a half mile. Your goals are not somebody else's goals. Your goals are your own, right? So. Strong make goals. Goals are the roadmap. And a goal is the GPS to get where you want to go. With no goals, it's like saying, I want to go to California. Oh, yeah. How are you getting there? Mm, I'm just going to go that way. Well, there's a lot of stuff over there. What part of California? I want to go to Los Angeles. Uh, Okay, well, there will be signs along the way, but not for a while, right? Like when you get closer to the destination, it'll kind of guide you in. But you could be missing it all together. A GPS tells you. Turn left here. Turn right there. It brings you to where it is. Goals are set by the strong. The weak, they let things happen. They wait to see what happens. Well, you know, hopefully this year is going to be better. Oh, yeah, what's your plan? So just to, you know, just get out there. What? That's not a plan. We'll we'll see how things go, you know. I'm, I'm really hoping it's a good year. What? Ah, uh, yeah, this year I'm going to make uh, $200,000. I made 100000 last year. Wow, that's a 100% growth. That's awesome. How are you going to get there? <laughs> Just work my butt off. Right? Those aren't people with goals. Those are people who wait to see what happens. When it doesn't happen, they had $100,000. All of a sudden, now they're at $120,000 by the end of this year. They missed their goal of 200000 Ah, oh, man, it was a rough year. Ugh, COVID's still hanging around, but... They're back to blaming others for why it didn't happen, but it's their fault. Being weak is a downfall. Now, again, 
third disclaimer, I believe. Other than the whole uh, sorry to pressure washers uh, about the joke. But the big thing is, is that if you're in a non-growth season and you're just hanging out, your goal may be just to do the same amount as last year. There is no wrong way. It's your business. That's why you're in business. So you can decide on how you want to do things, right? But a goal either way. You can even have a goal of doing the exact same thing you did last year, but figure out how to get there. If you wait and see how things pan out, wait to see how things happen for the year, that's a weak trait. It's up to you to decide if you want to be the weak side or the strong side. Another weak one is content. Or uh, content. Can't read my cliff notes. Content itself is just being okay with where you are. And again, if you're in that season, that's awesome. Doesn't mean you're weak. It means you're in that season. You're so strong inside. But being content are people who are like, what did you do last year? What, what was your uh, income last year? And they're like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, um, man, I don't, I don't know. Maybe like, no, like 130,000 maybe. I don't know. Then you find out and it's like, no, they really did like 98,000. It's like, how did you not know? Like they're content. They don't care. They don't need to be stronger in their head. They don't need to be a healthier company. They don't care about the profits because their bills are being paid. They could buy some beer on the weekends and they just kind of go with it. Right? They're content with where they are. Where a strong person is always challenging themselves. They're always reaching higher than they've reached. They're always reaching for the next thing. There's something that's different between being content with the time and being content in general. And what I mean by that is if you did something, man, I just sold a $40,000 job. I can't believe it. This is awesome. It's a weekly account on the strip mall. This is going to be amazing. Like You can be content for that time. But that job doesn't mean you're content for the next year right? Take the weekend, take the week, whatever. Oh, dude, I can't believe we sold that. That's awesome. This is going to be huge for our company. Boom. Let's go find another one. Let's go do the next thing. Let's keep pushing. Content is not changing. Content is stagnant. It's idle, right? Be strong and be challenging yourself to something. That's where goals are. Goals are not going to be super obtainable. They're going to have to be worked for. You're always going to work harder to achieve a goal that has been placed properly. But that's the point of getting kind of that hustle, that fire back in you, right? That's a trait of the strong is having hustle, is having a hot fire burning inside you. Something else that's strong is they're always in growth mode. And now I'm not just saying growth in size because some of you are happy being the size that you are. I don't really want to get any better, but you would want to be stronger, I'm telling you. There's not one of us that watch that is watching this show right now that is 100% happy with where they are and how things are running now and for the next five years. They're just not, right? We're all trying to better us, ourselves. Maybe your goal is to, you're doing a $100,000 one-man operation. You want to be out of the truck and uh, hire people. Maybe that's your goal. Maybe you're doing three and a half million dollars you've been out of the office but things are just redundant you've done the big accounts you've gotten the little accounts you got the trucks you got the nice facility maybe things are just boring maybe you have no drive because it's like man what do i do from here where's your next step where do you want to see this go where's your five-year plan break it down five years to a year year to a month month to a week week to a day what's your goal right strong is in growth mode They're always growing themselves better. Another thing with the strong and the same growth is they're always learning. That's another way to kind of grow mentally, right? You guys who are watching are strong because you're learning. Maybe if I can say anything, maybe you're not going to learn anything in this episode and it was just a waste of time, which I am sorry for that. But maybe you did. Maybe you got books. Maybe you got audio books. Maybe you're listening and learning and doing all of those things to get yourself better. No one can take knowledge away from you. Knowledge is the ultimate, the ultimate thing that you can own. Because no matter how smart you are, no one can take that away from you. 
right? No matter what kind of car you have, someone can take it away from you, right? No matter how big of a house, a wildfire can come through and destroy it. There's so many variables in everything except knowledge. Knowledge you have. It's not a thing that anybody else can take from you. They'd have to learn it themselves. So having knowledge is absolutely amazing. That's what makes you strong is being in growth mode, even if it's personal growth. Being weak is accepting a down year. Now, in my 15 years of having a window cleaning business, every single year we had great growth that was above double digits. Now, that's not being said that some years were not goal achieving years, right? That's not necessarily where it is, but having a down year where you're in a year that you did, where you're at now, and you went, man, last year I did half of what I did this, or uh, last year was half of what I did the year before. Now, I know with COVID and everything, it made it very, very difficult, but you can look back at a down year and go, whoa. You know, when I really think about it, man, I just didn't do anything. I sat on my thumb all year long. I didn't hustle. I didn't go out there. I just, right? People look at that down year and they go, oh, man, well, that's because of this. Uh, You know, it's, yeah, that one time this thing happened and, uh, this, you know, that's, oh, man, I, I had that flat tire. Oh, yeah, it just was, it was a rough year, but, you know, maybe next year will be better. All of the things I just said are from somebody who's a weak business owner. That's not you. That's not you. Maybe it's your season, but it's not you. You're bettering yourself, right? Being content with a down year, blaming other people, that's all on the weak side. And now is the time, especially now, being that we're recording this in January, so there's so much stuff going on, um, or so much stuff not going on, I should say. Hopefully you're prepping for spring. Spring is going to come hard this year. Hard. Because, like, COVID's already a thing. People are working from home. So all winter, they're uh, looking out of their dirty windows and everything else. Spring is going to hit hard. So buckle up for it. But, by the way, just on a side note, I called second spring last year. Do you remember? March, March-ish, April. I was like, you know what's going to happen? Right now, spring is just being moved. There's going to be a second spring coming in, like, June where everybody's going to be super busy. I called that. I said on like six episodes in a row and exactly it happened. So hopefully I'm right this time too. Hopefully spring is absolutely phenomenal for everybody. But now's the time where you get to change your mindset. If, big if, you want to change your mindset, not in premise. Yeah, nah, nah, I wish I worked a little harder. I wish I was a little bit better. I wish I was a little stronger. You have to decide if it is something you're going to do. No ifs and ands or buts. The goal is set. The goal is put out there. It's bigger than ever. You're going to be strong this year, and this is the year of change. That happens now. Like, again, I'm just some dummy, but it's in your your head right now. It's in your brain. It's in your heart. You get to decide. And here's the fun thing about business ownership is that you control your destiny. Win or lose, succeed or fail, you control that. I have not met one person who's ever had a business fail because they did everything right, everybody around them was right, everything, there was mistakes and errors, they can look back on a hindsight, man, I should have done this. So doing all that, getting all that hustle, now is the time to decide if that's something you're going to do. So check in, if you're on YouTube, go ahead and comment, tell me if you're strong or weak, tell me if you're going to be strong or weak. Make a commitment, make a plug down in the comments, tell me a goal you're going to achieve, be accountable, let's do it. I mean, now's the time that we can do this. Strong or weak, you get to decide which one you are. You get to decide. But either way, that's an episode. If you haven't watched our episodes, not all of them is me yelling at the camera, I swear. Some of them, I'm pretty tired and uh, low-key, but I'm ramped up on this one today. Um, If you liked the episode, make sure to give it a thumbs up on YouTube. Leave it a comment on any of the uh, podcast platforms. But more importantly, everybody... Everybody who's watching or listening, give me a call. I want to be your rep. I'm serious. It is not people calling like, oh, let me put it in a cart. I don't want to bother you. That's what I do. This is the way I make money is by putting the orders in, right? So give me a call. Shoot me a text, 862-312-2026. Get your phone out. Save the number. 
862-312-2026. My name is Jersey. I'm the only one you know. Put it in there and uh, let me be your rep. Put your orders in. Um, decide. Decide on if you're weak or strong. You get to decide and it's a right answer either way because even those people who are happy in a down year and they're weak business owners, it's right. You are right doing what you are. I can't tell you you've ever done anything wrong because it's your business. You get to decide on what path you do. Hopefully it's a strong path and hopefully you're succeeding in blowing things out of the water. Huh? Either way, I do definitely appreciate it. Go out there, be strong, but more importantly, be epic.